Ladies and gentlemen, Fortnite Mares is finally here, and oh my god, I have to say, there is a lot to cover in today's video. So if you're excited, be sure to drop a like down below and click subscribe if you're new. We just hit 1.1 thousand subscribers, so I really appreciate all the support lately. I'm doing my next giveaway at 1.5, so be sure to help me get there fast. So without any further ado, let's hop into Fortnite Mares 2020. All right, so kicking it off, as soon as we log into Fortnite, you can see the Party Trooper outfit showing off right here. So you can pick this up in the item shop now. It's like a different variant of the Skull Trooper. It looks pretty cool. And some free rewards. That is right. So 40,000 XP. That is awesome. Everyone gets a Bobo's watching little emote just for logging into the game during Fortnite Mares. Pretty cool. And I think this was from the last time I played. I forgot to claim these. So everyone will be getting those two rewards at the front, which is pretty cool. You know, Fortnite Mares, you get free stuff. But here's the crazy thing, Fortnite Mares Challenges. This is what we're here for. Oh, it looks like I have a gift from Super Gaming 12 YouTube. Wow, thank you so much. Let's check it out. That was a cool surprise. All right, the Trendsetter Back Bling. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Shout out to you. If you guys want to gift me anything, you will get a shout out in the video just like he did. All right, guys, look at the lobby screen. Oh my God, I'm actually so hyped by this. I was really looking forward to a new lobby screen. And I'm so glad we got one. This looks awesome. But you can see in the background is the Authority, which, by the way, is no longer called the Authority. We'll get into more detail on that a little bit later. But this lobby screen is looking fire. All right, so here's the Fortnite Mares challenges. So the first one is travel 100 meters on a witch broom. That is right. Witch rooms are now in the game. And I will be showing these off a little bit later in the video. The next one is eat candy. That is right. I will be talking about that later in the video as well. You have to eat 25 different pieces of candy and become a shadow is the last one currently. For some reason it says done. I literally have not played this yet, which is kind of weird, but I'll take it. You know, free challenge done. And it looks like there's more challenges. Three of them will be unlocked in two days, and then three more will be unlocked in five days. So stay tuned for these challenges. You know, that's the best part about Fortnite Nightmares is the free stuff. The first obvious change of this Fortnite Mares is obviously the Authority, and it's no longer called the Authority, it is called the Ruins. We're going to unlock it really quick, so if you land up here at the top, of course there's no weapons, there's Midas' chair floating in like a summoning circle, that's kind of freaky, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys what the henchmen are. Yeah, you can see one right there, he has got a pumpkin launcher, and okay, now we have a shotgun, but I'm going to put some shield on because... These things are powerful, and he's probably going to be coming after me right now. All right, let's go try and take him out wherever he is. Oh my god! <laughs> he was right there. Okay, all right, so we got the pumpkin launcher right here, looking awesome. And there's another guy right there. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, you guys got to be careful with these dudes. They got pumpkin launchers, and they are dangerous. And of course, this whole place is decorated in Halloween. Oh, I wouldn't say decorated. It is actually spooky. So pretty neat. Uh, there's definitely more henchmen here. And of course, we're going to go and find Midas. Yeah, there's a little bit of an upgrade right there. So Midas should be down here somewhere. I don't know if I should be. Oh, yep, there he is. There is Midas. Come on, Midas. Get out of here. Jeez. There goes Midas. All right. His new drum gun, the Shadow Drum Gun. It's basically the exact same thing as Jules Drum Gun, so it's still not the best. But hey, the Mythic Drum Gun's back, so that's pretty cool, right? This other henchman. Let's go test it out on him. Oh my god. He literally just hit me with that crossbow, and that did not feel very good. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this thing up really quick and show you the specs of this crossbow so we can try and use it on this guy here yeah you can see so 75 headshot the fire rate is a ton faster you can see hit fire is a lot faster oh my god how did i not just die from that launcher right there so that's pretty much it with the new ruins location looks pretty spooky and of course the big change is midas with all of his henchmen and the pumpkin launchers the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is right over here you can see this is a new spot on the map and there are actually a bunch of these these are witch huts and there's a couple cool things that you can find here that i'm going to be taking a look at so the first thing 
I don't know if you can tell, but there are some candy baskets here. You cannot search them. But if you go ahead and break them, look at that. So you've got candy corn, peppermint, jelly beans, thermal taffy. So I'm going to go ahead and give each one of these a try. So I'm pretty sure the candy corn is for health, so I cannot use that right now. The jelly beans actually give you 10 shield instantly. That's actually probably one of the best things right there. And thermal taffy will make you have thermal vision, which is pretty awesome, just like the thermal flopper. So you can find these dotted all over the map. And yeah, they're pretty cool addition to the Fort Nightmares. Aside from this place being like really spooky, look at this. What are those? Those are witch brooms. We saw these in the in-game files before Fort Nightmares. So if you go ahead and search it, oh my god. It's Mythic Witch Broom. That is right. So a new mythic in the game. It is basically the exact same thing as Silver Surfer. So you can see. You fly up in the air and you can glide on it and you can cancel it too, which is awesome. And it has a 20 second recharge time. So I think this is really awesome. Definitely fits with the spooky Halloween theme. It's pretty smart how they just did a reskin of the Silver Surfer board for Halloween. And I believe the only way you can get these is at these witch huts. So you can definitely look up like where to find these things. They're kind of creepy. Another update with the Fortnite Mares is the Charge Shotgun. It has been vaulted, that is right. Um, many people don't know about this until you've played the game for a while and realize that you just cannot find it. So that is why it has been vaulted. So do not go searching for the Charge Shotgun. Rip Charge. Honestly, I was starting to like the thing, so it kind of sucks. But as long as Punch are still in the game, I think we're chilling. And another really cool thing is the Hulk Smashers are now in the game. That's right, the Mythic Hulk Smashers. That have been in the marvel ltm i've yet to find it i don't think you can find it in battle labs you have to go into a normal game at the stark ships so yeah that is now in the game and i'm pretty sure it does the exact same thing that it does in the marvel ltm so pretty cool they added another mythic so go ahead and try it out and if you have let me know in the comments how it is all right guys we're finally in the game of course so you got the new battle bus that returns every halloween really love this one so we are gonna go to the new ruins location in a public game and guys i'm probably not going to be coming back to this place for a long time because the entire lobby goes here oh my god i literally cannot see it is so foggy but oh my god it's so bright over there it's so weird oh my god i need a weapon oh I, di I didn't even see that no way we just got the top yo oh my god Hide, 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 this thing with the... Oh my god. Get out of here, freaking henchman. Give me this RPG. Oh my god. What is happening? Alright, we're gonna try and just stay up here right now and see how long we can actually survive. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I have no mats. That's wonderful. Oh my god. What the? There's the ghost. Where'd he go? He literally just jumped off. You guys saw that though. That was a ghost. That is literally a real player that has died and come back from the dead. Yo, what? What just happened? I've never seen this screen before. Did I just lag out? Oh, that's wonderful. I literally just lagged out of that game. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go again. All right, we go again. I have no clue what happened last game, but I literally just got removed from the game for some reason. And I'm not going off of Wi-Fi, by the way. I'm literally hardwired, so I don't know why that happened, but I guess Fortnite doesn't like me. Okay, that guy just went jumping, I guess. He literally was like, hey, and then never mind. All right, we got one guy. Hit him with the harpoon. That's kind of OP. Oh my god, what was this guy doing? I have no shotgun shots now. And there's literally going to be ghosts on me right now. What the? Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, all right, we are dead. But we're not going back to the lobby. Guess what? We are becoming a ghost. That is right. We're flying right back up and 
it's time for revenge. Join Midas Shadow Army and hunt down survivors. Oh my god. I Okay, I have to actually see what... Oh, you can't deploy your glider? Okay, so that's to slash. I think that's... Yeah, you can phase through. And then A is to jump. Okay, I guess we're killing that thing. Okay, so LB is to scan enemies. Get out of here! Get out of here! Come on! No! <laughs> this is the guy with the drum gun. I got him to 6 HP. Are you serious right now? This guy, he, he's so dead. He is so screwed. So yeah, as you guys can see, this Fortnite Nightmares update is honestly insane. It is just crazy. The fact that you die and you literally come back and can kill the person that just killed you is just crazy. And it is so weird like to get a win if it's a 1v1 like with no ghosts and then you die you can come back as a ghost and kill that person and win it's just crazy but if you win as a ghost it's not an actual victory royale it's like a knight royale or something like that so i don't think it really counts towards your stats but yeah this this update is just crazy let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below and i really appreciate you all sticking around to the end and i will see you guys in my next video peace